We are Dee and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Oh, oh yeah, seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. We arrive in Mexico the morning of March 20th, a Sunday. We are excited to finally be in Mexico at the Isla Mujeres Marina. But we cannot leave the resort until we check in on Tuesday morning. But we could peek at the fuel prices. That price is in pesos per liter, so about four fifty a gallon and four eighty for diesel. At least it's a little cheaper than the states. Obviously on Sunday all government offices are closed, but Monday is a holiday. It is Benito Juarez's birthday. He was the 26th president and the first of indigenous origin. While waiting to check in, we were visited by a French-Canadian couple from the Anchorage that Dia chatted with on the Isla Mujeres CruiserNet Facebook page. They provided us with some information about the island and traveling in and out of Mexico. Such a wealth of information, and we appreciated their willingness to be of so much help. This cruising community definitely has each other's backs here. As soon as we cleared all the check-in process and finally customs, we headed out of the resort and got our first look around the island. We saw the stunning views on the Caribbean seaside and found a bayside restaurant, El Camajon, to have a taco and a margarita. My back is still causing me a lot of pain, but I wanted to see the Capilla de Guadalupe, the church on the water or cliffs. So we headed out to see the church and the stunning views from behind the church. We were unable to visit inside at this time, so, but we walked the streets and found a little brewery. They could not serve inside yet, but we could purchase and the bottle opener is outside the door. We chose the Tesora Parate, which was a vanilla porter. You were able to get a sample. We stepped into a very small restaurant called Tequeria A A A, which had three tables. It was authentic food and the best hot sauce. Tuesday morning, as we prepared to check in, a sailboat arrived into the slip beside us from Guatemala. They had been sailing for days and were tired, but they joined us to get checked in and then to sleep. Over the next few days, we loved getting to know Vera, Jerome, and Bruno, who had been sailing for a couple years and left from their home, the Netherlands. They had some sailing friends around, and although they graciously invited us out, we offered to keep Bruno so they could have a night out without him because apparently he does not like to be left alone. But we loved our Bruno time. Friday morning, March 25th, arrives and the winds tell us it's time to go. Although the north winds were coming right at us in the slip, which made it hard to get out, but once we were out, the rest of the ride was fine. We cruised out through the anchorage and toward Cancun and then down the coast. D scored a Sarah Mackerel just before Playa de Carmen began to come into view, and the ferry, which we thankfully avoided, while the others were safely on the dock as we passed. Next stop, we cruise to the inlet and into our spot in Puerto Aventuras, which we are super excited about. And to end the day, Dee's fresh Sarah Mackerel with Bill and Angie at Latitudes. Now for some rest on the beach, and to reacquaint ourselves with Porto Aventuras. My sister's getting married. So once we made it to Isla Mujeres, I decided to buy a plane ticket home to see the wedding, my family, and our granddaughter, Lilia. I would be home for four days, but Dee would stay behind with Journey since we had just arrived and try to learn more about the area. I also hope to get to a chiropractor about my back. So off with Bill and Angie, I go to the airport. Hannah and Lilia pick me up at the airport, and I spend the night with them before heading to my mom and dad's for the wedding, where I will be keeping Harley. So I get some Jessie time as well. And she gets some Lilia time. But she is off for a weekend bachelorette party for a friend. And I will get to snuggle with Harley. I see a chiropractor twice, and although painful, big improvements begin to happen. The wedding day is here, and it was simple but beautiful ceremony, which my dad performed. I got some more Lilia time, and then the airport nightmare with canceled flights, 
but I finally make Cancun after 12 hours of airport fun. We are living in the moment, capturing enjoyment. Oh, we are living in the moment, life full of enjoyment. Oh, 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 oh,